Hey gang, you want to learn how to steal cars? <clears throat> Use a screwdriver as a key. If that fails, remove steering column cover. Check the serial number, then strip the wire and twist the following wires together. If there's a four before three, and the number seven in... Okay, four before three and seven, six anywhere, and it doesn't start with five, This really is. Now strip the purple wire. Do not touch this one. Okay, if there's a six anywhere, green and brown, but it has to not start with five. Fuck, that's a lot of rules. Okay, but we got what we need. Found it. Object. Gonna need that. Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that sounds perfect. Let's really hope that. Time I really hope that wasn't off. time. Because if so, this lady Caller is fucking dead. Thanks, Peggy. Okay. We're back with 189.16, the screen. <clears throat> How are you holding up, Sandra? Yeah. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this baby? Put the screwdriver in the ignition, and twist clockwise. Yeah, use a yeah, screwdriver. Rules, baby. I... I... Oh. Screwdriver's too fat to fit. You fucking what idiot. Next? Unscrew the steering column. Four before three and seven. Covers off. There's just six anywhere and it doesn't start with five. Zero at the end. And three doesn't come before six. Do jazz breathing. Do jazz breathing. Don't, Don't panic. panic. Chill. Okay. Chill. What's number? the serial number on the steering column? The number is 576-894-320. Zero at the end. Okay. Three doesn't come before six. Okay, last one. Red and yellow. Strip and twist together the red and yellow wires. All right. We take the red and the yellow and we twist and we turn. This lady is having a, the worst I night of her life. Purple wire. What next? Okay. Strip the purple wire and brush Strip against the, the twisted wire wires. And brush against the twisted wires. Okay. Three your turns on and off. Cut the pink wire. Fantastic work, baby. Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, Left. you get in for free. Keep driving. Just keep driving now. Okay? Don't lay off the jazz. It seems to be helping safe. you. Get home safe, Sandra. Will do, babies. Okay, the alarm didn't sound, and nothing else bad happened. That was miraculously did it, lucky. Forrest. Sure did. Here comes another hit <laughs> Hell yeah. that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on one. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't you fucking Monday dare. Friday at five. Take it away, Forrest. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Here we go. I still can't believe this is happening. 
Right. I was gonna be like so Creek upset if I had to do another about. thing at Car and Magnets. Get this shit out of here. Gallows Creek is a <clears throat> miserable place to live. Really? Miserable? Hey Peggy? Hey Peggy, hold on. Look me in the eyes. Did you miss the part where someone got their throat slit live on radio? D did you miss that? Because I didn't miss that. I don't miss it at all. Peggy, be, honest. be honest. It's a dump. There's nothing to do here. Hell, I'm almost ready to thank this whistling guy for at least making things interesting. Wait, don't well, say I that. I like it here. People are polite and... Dude, you can't uh... say that. Stab, Stab happy. happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Come on, there must be something you like about this Our place. Our population of listeners is like... It was 35, now it's about 32. Okay. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? What the... There's no smell. <laughs> you, you've you lived here your whole life, Peggy. You wouldn't <clears throat> recognize it by now. Anyway, yeah, this place I has hope the a, killer is dumb for the night. Has a reek to that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. That's the problem Can with, like, we weird carpets. we at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now? Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea. Guess the stri guess that scream sounds kind of insensitive because of the amount of Caller people being stabbed one. tonight. Guess that scream plays like an actual fucking call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. Hey, you caller. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand-in. I'm hey, from the screen, and I'm Brian, also, you know, helping Brian people. Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Cut it off. Hello, Brian Ponty. Cut it off right now. Ponty's Fuck this pizza. guy. What have you got to say about what's happening? Why do you say his location? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy Martinez didn't make it. I saw her a lot over the years. Ponty's Pizza. Here. Found him. Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just this is a weird ad. For doing your best. So I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows Fuck over. Fuck this guy. Wow, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. You really don't have to though. Oh. Imagine, imagine capitalizing off of like. Imagine capitalizing off of this. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is. I'm gonna tap my mic the whole time he talks. Fuck this guy. I can't hang up, but I can like noise pollute. Teddy Gallows Jr. is a family man. A devout Christian and a proud patriot, Teddy Gallows Jr. Okay, now that everyone's gone. Like his father. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else yeah, fuck coming this guy. on down to Ponty's Pizza. We've got a great special. Oh this my weekend. God. Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Ponty's Pizza this weekend! Fuck You've just got this to guy. one slice to get yourself- God damn it, you're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him. Done. Oh, real quick, before I forget, it's probably time we played a paid ad. Yeah. Now, a word from our sponsors. You know how to play an ad, right? Nope. Nope. In-flight check time! Christ. Fuck Our captain you. would like to remind you that the station no. is required by law to play advertisements from our sponsors. Grab a cassette and stick it in the player. Which one do we want? I feel like people should be learning martial arts. Hold on. The cassette player is on the desk in front what of you. What was this? Just above the sound blaster. There should be a cassette in the dock nearby. Damn. I won't listen to that. Do you seek ancient wisdom? Do you want to double your power? Are you 
Yes. Unlock your inner warrior for only $24.99. Hell yeah. Then step into Master Robbie's deadly dojo of Kung Rate. Is that an actual play? Direct by video warrior instruction from me. Master wait, Robbie. video warrior? You will learn the four qualities of huh. the ultimate conqueror. Wait, 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 wait. The hold power on, of hold the on. alligator. What's a video warrior? The discipline warrior? of the tarantula. The, the speed of the tuna. Oh, God, the poise of the scorpion. Wow. And the what? wisdom of the bullfrog. <laughs> Using classified techniques. Wait, I'll wait. Unlock your inner chi after we only sure this guy... 30 minute video sessions. Ultimate power and wisdom can be... Wait, wait, wait. Are we sure this guy knows what he's talking about? <laughs> this guy may not actually run a dojo. Hold on. Never forget the element of surprise. He may not even. He may not even have a real place in town. Jazz Studio. Oh, I think this is where that person like escaped from. Um. God, this is an overwhelmingly large map. Do. People really buy this kind of thing? Don't pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate lovemaking sure is something. Uh, Wait, I, what? Uh, <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Let's just get to the show. What is karate lovemaking? Wow, what a deal. Only twenty-four ninety-nine, And I'm not just saying... How am I not the only weirdo here? ...for the airtime. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. Welcome to the Scream. <laughs> hey, Colin. Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Gallows Reporter. Maurice Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I am 911. I'm the law. Right here. Tonight, anyway. Damn it, son. I don't care who you are. I literally Just am, though. Put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Yeah. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? No. Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Okay, here he is. I cite you as an anonymous source, if that's a concern. But this is live on air. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on... Damn it. Yeah. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a yeah, lot. Yeah, we're live. How, how do you Who not know that? That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Mm. <laughs> Teens. Yeah. Dressed as. They get sure, worse sure. every year. So, um, do you maybe want to, like, arm yourself? Wasn't even a Pick up a chair? Twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. I don't, don't think understand. that's a team. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Of course it's not. Well, it's, it's not the whistling man. It's probably like a copycat. If you get tossed in the river, you don't really come funny. back after 20 years. Not you come back like deal, next year. Man. But they didn't live through the terror 30, 30 years, ago. years ago. Anyway, this I guy's in his back. 50s. Yeah, this is a copycat. Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. I don't know who I'm looking at on the security monitor. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews, where are you now? <clears throat> Upstairs. Okay, upstairs. We've got security cameras all around the building. You, you sound like you're playing a way set. more interesting fucking There's game over the there. Room. This guy's playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Maurice, is no one's gonna you can get take him? That would end ah, the game. I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing. <laughs> what a dick. Blocking the stairs. Okay. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. <clears throat> and it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why I mean, they're like a block over. over. They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms with different extensions. True. So we call one of them. 
draw the killer away. And get an exclusive interview with the killer? That could be interesting. No, I mean we just make a distraction. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I Excuse me, I'm trying to get back to my five million you listeners. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? For that you to be successful, one? you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. Yeah. All delivered while the killer is en route. Yeah. I got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. He's about to get us all of those things. Fucking toss them through my window. You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Nah. Mr. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go well, check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Hold on. Is there still more to do? Oh my fucking god. That was fast. How do you know our fax machine number? KFAM and the Gallows Reporter have a pretty long history. You gotta let me leave. I'll go pick up that map then. Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side He of said the he was gonna be there That's any funny. second, right which back. really means I have about a minute. Okay, go to the I office. I don't have a sprint button. The hall. Grab the facts from the Just machine. gotta casually Easy. walk on over, you know. This must be it. Quick. Anything else? Okay. I mean, if this is all. Payday two tactics. Whoa. I, I probably shouldn't dick around too long. Ooh, that's... Hey, did you get... Hold on. I have a plan. There we go. Fox? Zoom enabled. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell? You, uh... You still with us? Yeah. I am. You get my fax? Yep. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least One, manage two, that. Three, four. Okay, Fuck folks, you. We're back on the line with Maurice. Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. Okay. Now he's in the office next door. Okay. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Extension Again, we want to draw three. the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh, editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero yeah. 03. Draw him that way. I'll put the call through when then you're ready. Then we can hide right, Maurice gosh. in the kitchen. Where do no, I need to go? Archives. You're moving to the archives. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already. Damn there. right. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice. Russell, you gotta wait till he like goes over there, though. Make the call. Yes, sir. Calling now. All right. My zoom vision is really helping now. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. You can thank me later. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you? It's your producer I'll be crediting if I make it through this. Like hell you will. The coast is you won't clear. make it through this if you don't thank Shutting me. Shutting off the TV so he won't see me on the security cameras. Then, making my move, I'll call All when right. I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, my plans are but perfect. Now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is 
gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. Yeah. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Hell yeah. Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Hand it on over. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? It's not Mr. Russell. I am. No, it is. I don't think he saw me. I really thought he'd pick up the phone. I gotta give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right. Let's review where we are. So, the only way... I hope these phone the lines aren't, like, connected. ...which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. But not quickly. Or quietly. Eh. You can't find him. Why would he be dead? Lock him Could in a room. lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside he'd be able to get out just as soon as wait 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 no 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 i got it the Could secret you... archive through my office <clears throat> where we keep our most sensitive records Ooh, a secret archive reggie would love that why don't you just hide what in have the you secret got back room? there juicy secrets about outer space peggy you got chill the, time the, uh, the most they have right. is that like sorry Forrest. the Can't most these people know the listen okay. peggy the most these people know is that like the local ice cream shop has lied about their ice cream machine being broken on like three occasions all right this town has a thousand people secrets ain't that big it's like one guy cheated no one time and never got caught only the outside you can't break out Get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. I don't think we can oh catch my God. him, but... Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. <laughs> so we don't have a phone in there. Oh, Great. we're going to need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Mm. You got a radio. We could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. Are there no radios at your offices? I was thinking I like walkie talkie type. Office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. Bingo. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to what Yeah, does he listen to us? Just personal screen. question. Gallows Creek's best and only late night Colin show. I'd expect that level of self advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. Listen. Don't be a Ponty Forest. That's low. Well, you idiots, listen. Now. Think about it. His portable radio should still be here. Think about the Should advertisement, be here right? In the archives, actually. Let me just take a peek around. Great yeah. job, Forrest. Looks like you picked the perfect place. I know I did, because I'm amazing. Yep. That was 100% uh, just me thinking ahead. Exactly as planned. I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. <laughs> it's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. It's going to. Yeah. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. <clears throat> sure, sure, sure. The radio works! If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. One yeah. day off. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. I mean, if you don't make it out alive, Hopkins gets every day off, so... If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead! You just... Oh, that's a good point. Uh, you just tune it to us but and wait, then we're quiet. we're the radio! Yeah, we just we have to just be, be quiet. just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. Yeah. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double check. But after your earlier self advertisement, Nash, I don't think that's necessary. See? I've got the radio on silent, but I'm tuned in. I said the right thing. Now, 
I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is We could kill four. him, or we could that put the killer work. right next the to him. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Make the call. Okay, calling the boardroom now. I'm wagering he's gonna spend more time checking a room he hasn't checked before. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost. If we get the killer to the kitchen, he has like minimal Any idea time. What you say to draw the killer in? I'm gonna do my best impersonation of Maurice. Hell I think yeah. That'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? Uh, I need pictures of Spider-Man. What a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A for effort. Ooh, do you Carl wanna try? In. Here we go. I'm here. Radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am. Uh, good question. Yeah. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see under it. That's not I've got a good a one. big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. There's the secret archive itself, but uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. Mm. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Okay, so... Do Hide cubicles. among the cubicles. Secret right. archive is kill him? Well, the cabinet might take two. He's going gonna to be go checking... The radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna wait as long as I need to. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than yeah. you've been alive. If I alive. pressed any of those, he would have died. Come on down, whistling man. Come and get a knuckle sandwich. He went in the room and he immediately walked Forrest, out. He's, Come on. He's... Out of print. Damn it. Can we maybe like wait, where we at? Hold on. I feel like I got kind of cheated on that one. Hold on. <sighs> Let's just uh I didn't realize that he wasn't just going to run for the staircase. Fuck. Out of print. Why are you upside down? Look that. Well, looks like that one guy's getting all of the days off. <sighs> My Let's train of thought was that he was going to try to like go recover. and do something over here. For the best, Peggy. Folks, I knew the desk we'll was a guaranteed soon. kill. If you have any stories about Maurice, that I was worried like the share, cabinet would take him too long to get out of. Track. Shit. Anyway, we're playing music. Nah, well, this is I'm not really feeling it. Oh, really? I feel like it's going pretty quickly to me. I could ask you some questions to speed things along. You're gonna interview me. Oh, you great. sure about that? You're not. So this is where we learned my character's Besides, the killer. We've been together like a week now, and you're still all shrouded in mystery. Uh, yeah. Did it occur to you that I want to learn about my character? Too bad. When I get the bad Question ending. One. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. 
Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Listen, Peggy, nope. you gotta but chill that's out. Too specific. Too specific? Don't make me put on Storm I... Riders, Peggy. Do you have any? I'm doing it. Siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. <laughs> You're sorry? Why? Did you sorry, do it? Why? Did you do it? Of course not. I only. I'm just messing with you. Why are you being so defensive? What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? Okay, so this game really plays by the one bad choice rule. I'm just making of like, if you fuck up no. once, it's basically well, over. My folks went the same way as yours. Huh. Coinky dink. What a coincidence. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been erect for a while. Serial thriller. Well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. Whoa. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Peggy Weaver now. Listen, Peggy, this is cool and all, but like, I got, I got pizza eggs. Come on, man. I just want to grab that tape over there. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be. It's okay. I know. Let me. Okay, I'm not good. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. I like how my door doesn't have a lock on it. Not anymore. Or uh, even uh, functional hinges, really. Can I rip it off? Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. Really? And someone needs our help? Maybe. You want to go check it out? Me? You sure you, you should probably go down. No, wait. I'm locked up tight in here. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. Yeah. Hey, how are you gonna get it to me, pal? Okay, down to the first floor, then check the door. I think I've made enough bad decisions that we're about to get shanked. You fucking coward. God damn it. Hold on. I'm not doing it. Okay. Bye. Unlock. Hurry. That's no. not opening. That one doesn't open either. Do you have an inventory? Mm, boop, boop. It's this one. You know what? And I leave. Hey, uh, this is illegal. You can't do this. This is a, this is like an escape. Okay, you you can't do this. Hey, Peggy, I think we violated, like, a lot of laws right here. That's a lot of safety regulations in one foul swoop violated. Anything down here I want to take up with me? Either we're about to die... I... I hate these so much. Listen, you can do one, or you can do the other. You cannot do both. It's locked. awful. For now. It's locked. For now. Um. Ooh. Hey, no, give that back. Ah, that one can leave. Text panel enabled. Barb, don't know how to say this. I think we should see other people. Eh, it's not my business. That ain't some helpful information. And that's what I need. I need helpful information. What's this? Also illegible. Okay. I'm gonna try and slip more into a radio producer voice. You think I can? Damn, he just picked that up, huh? A tape play on air. 
play on air. Hmm. But should I though? Eh, useless. What if I play Axe 3 Final Decapitation on air? I would, however, it appears to be uh, glued together. Hold on. That is the first fucking really loud noise in this game. Hey, Axe 3, you gotta go. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sure you're a great movie. But, uh, yeah, that, that one actually got me. Killer didn't get me. Axe 3? Axe 3 fucking got me. We'll need that eventually. We won't need Axe 3 ever. What's this? Yeah, we're needing that for something. That goes on the floor over there. Probably not something soon, but uh, we'll need it for something. I'll tell you right now, I'm not playing this on air. That would be highly irresponsible for all of my 34, 33 listeners. Forgot I lost Maurice. It's been played. Who was there? I didn't see who it was. Are they still out there? Nope. No. They left as soon as I went down there. They pushed a cassette through the door. It says, play me on air. Yeah, it was kind of weird because right. the door was like on, not big enough to put Let's a cassette through. We better not actually be playing this on air. Because, uh, that'd be kind of messed up. Hello, Gallows Creek. Time to pay the price. Time to pay for lives. Time to sit there. To suck I will her. Finish. You. I'm going to enjoy this. I did not enjoy that. What the hell was that? I. Oh, Forrest. We're still on air. Say something. Sorry about that, that ad. Uh, <clears throat> wasn't the ad tape we meant to play. Sorry, folks. It won't happen again. There's no way the killer got from the newspaper to here so quick. I know. This is the ad we meant to play. <laughs> Great party, man. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't believe Thank we left again. this ad on this for about Kenzie an hour. A helpful tip: the bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's. I, I don't think I'm getting on the suspect there, list, either, the list either. Hold on. If the killer comes in here, all I gotta do is just like stand up here. I don't think he'll be able to get me. Let me just... If it was a jump button, I might be able to fucking jump behind this radio and clip into her room. Just maybe. But, uh... Nah. Alright, Peggy, what's up? I the song the under my door. needs Go play it. no introduction. Game, you gotta, like, let me free roam. Come on. You can't, you can't keep doing this. You know what? I don't feel like there's a legitimate time limit for a lot of these. Which reduces a lot of stress. Uh, also, yeah, there's a... I'm sorry, what is this? Hold on. Hold on, I got a plan. Next time he tries to fucking shove something on... I got a plan, gang. It's okay. I'm ready. Next time this little shit tries to, su tries to shove something into my office. 
he's going to have another thing coming. And he's going to get snapped by one, pull back, think that's all of them, and boom, another mousetrap. Get him again. Do we have another? No. So many locked doors, so few keys. Hold on. Now we need something absolutely heinously nasty. Damn it, I can't like push it. Okay. Can I even get coffee? No. Okay. Alright. And he's gonna reach in. If he tries to reach in again and doesn't learn his lesson, he's gonna get the worst of them all. An advertisement. Alright? This is like Russian roulette, but there is no winning. This, this is this is Russian roulette with a Glock. Ain't no way he gets out of this one unscathed. I'm gonna have to remove that before our mailman comes by in the morning, though. Because, like... There's only one mail guy. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure there's only one mailman. And, uh... If I piss off the mailman like this, I think I might be, I'm I think I might get a pipe bomb in my mail. He that guy knows where I live. I'm uh I, I'm not super eager to piss off mailmen. My grandmother worked in mail and I'll tell you what, it sounds so boring and tedious, I'm not surprised. That going postal is a term that came from mailmen absolutely like losing their minds. Like not only is it mentally exhausting, boring, and repetitive, it's uh it's not fun. It's like it, it's annoying. It's not annoying, but like the worst. It, it's the worst thing you could do. Or try your call again. Hey, what? Straight to voicemail? My god. Are there any professionals at KFAM? What is it? This is Gina Franklin. I'm calling because your backwater station has not honored our... Wait, dream. hold on. The word is mental... Mentally deteriorated. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Anyway. We gave you Mr. Snatcher's newest single, the kind of honor you never had and probably never will again. And we yeah. still not received any information about when you're fitting it into your busy programming. I'll be frank, I didn't want you as part of the state view, but Mr. Snatcher, due to his prior friendship with Mr. Nash... Prior and current friendship, Gina. Forrest, mate, you alright? Don't worry about Gina, you know how she is. But yeah, can't wait for you to hear the new single, man. I think Final Breath is my best work yet. I really hope you and your listeners like it. And man, if you ever find your way this side of the pond, let me know. We'll have to catch up. Oh, he's nice. If Final Breath isn't played on your airwaves by the end of Mr. Nash's show tonight, the next call will be much less friendly. Gina's a cunt. That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest. You know, Gina's such Roddy an asshole. Snatcher? Fuck Gina. Yeah, Roddy and I are old friends. Oh, I love Roddy. I will always find you was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my God, I can't believe you know Roddy. Do I even you. have the, the thing she's talking about? And I can't believe you tell about. me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? Telephone. Oh, they mailed it to K Fan, not to me. Then it's got to be downstairs at reception. Okay. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, <clears throat> that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication? Folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. Mm. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go Let's see Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Some guy was just like, yeah, I want this. And fucking picked up the song and took it. It's probably in here. It's probably in the staff office, if anything. I'm gonna do the totally normal thing of just absolutely raiding my co-workers. Hey guys. Yeah, that's mine now. 
I think I'm the cook-off champion. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about this on our net, on our next uh, airwaves. Yeah. This makes me feel much better about tonight, being the cook-off champion of 1984. I don't even remember I was until today. Alright. Let's get that wreck. Uh, where would the record be? Would it be like... Whoa. Be down... This must be it. Yep. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Alright, we got it. Collected. I'm gonna turn on text panels and just like hover over things because I gotta know if I'm missing something. I hate the axe, I'm sorry. After what it did to me, I don't think I can forgive it. Interns do it for free. You know what? On top of the hit singles, small chance he grabs a very used coffee mug. I I have this bad boy barricade. I'd like to fucking try and see him like reach through and pick this lock or slide something else under. I want to see him try. Not my neck of the woods. Hell. All seriousness, though, uh, how the hell did he get here? It was like a 20 second gap. He might, he might actually be a ghost. Or the more fucked up idea of those teens, it was actually a, like, part of the killer. Group. That'd be messed up. I'm taking the tiny toaster. I think. I need to decorate my office more for the first time. Hey. Tiny toaster. Right there. It might be a napkin dispenser. Here we go. We got it. Yeah, you get shot. If I could, I'd move the speakers in front of that. Or just move this fucking thing. Hell yeah, this thing. Be perfect. Hey, did you get it? Got it's it. playing right now. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath. By Roddy Snatcher. <laughs> Hell yeah. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. Hold on. Just gotta make sure I play our intro over his song. You gotta get that advertising. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, you just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. <laughs> It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I no, really hope it's nothing serious. I don't see a caller. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe, when maybe you're ready, we gotta shut the music off. Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. This is Forrest host of Nash. 189.16. Host of the Scream. And tonight's, and tonight's 911 stand in. This is Murphy. <laughs> hey, Murphy. Hello. Murphy, uh, what have you got for us tonight? How you doing? Two things, Forrest. Yeah? First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Okay. He's free today. And man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've learned how to live, how to laugh. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. I, uh, I need to go get some food. Don't worry, I kept Murphy's plight in mind the whole happy time. Happy birthday, Fernando. Yes, a child. Man, this is a weird night to celebrate. It's not happy at all. Not that happy today. 
forest. No, nah, it's not wrong. And that brings me to my other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so-called killer. Oh, You yeah. think you're tough, huh? Big man with a big knife, huh? Ruin. Come face me, a true warrior at the gallows waste disposal oh. plant. Oh, God, he's doing it, huh? Oh, no, no, no. Murphy, please. Murphy has so much oh, heart. Boy. He... Here we go. I got all the tapes. <clears throat> He's so Master misguided. Poor Murphy. So get ready, whistling man. I hope he can do it. Um. The junkyard. No. No, Murphy. Um. Oh no. I am, however, going to have to cut off the episode and here. There he goes. Uh, Ladies hope and you gentlemen, enjoyed what we did here. I hope you're having a good day. Murphy as he tries to become Murphy doesn't die. our hometown hero. Anyway. Although, Be having heard that time. Master Robbie Peace. ad earlier, uh, well, don't get your hopes up too much. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. <laughs>